All right, I couldn't wait for a whole nother production, another shoot to share this tip with you that I just figured out last night, which is not a complete game changer for the Z6, but allows you to truly use the eye autofocus in by far the most successful way possible. What I've discovered in now like two months of using this camera is it's, you can actually use autofocus and get really, really good pictures uh, with some minor tweaks. In the other videos I've done, I've talked about how I'm using autofocus, using the back button, uh, some scenarios that it works, some scenarios that it doesn't. And then on one of those videos, I had a comment where someone said something along the lines of like, oh, I wish there was a faster way to switch focus modes because as I say, I autofocus works sometimes, but some situations you just have to go back to a dynamic autofocus. That kind of was sitting in my head and I'm like, why would you ever need to do that quickly? But the more I've been shooting, I realized like, oh wow, I would like to be in eye autofocus here, but I'm in dynamic right now and I don't feel like switching back and forth because I do have to then go through a few menus. Last night, I had the epiphany and I figured it out. I'm sure someone has already figured this out, but I'm just really jazzed about it right now. So what you need to do to get your camera to truly be like the ultimate focus monster is you're gonna press menu. You're gonna go into uh, the custom settings menu. You're gonna go into F for controls. You're gonna go into F2 for custom control assignment. Then you are going to assign a new function for function two. That's this button down here that no one on earth has ever used. Quick little tip though. Function one should be set to preview or actually set to playback. So that way you can hit it fast and see the final picture without even taking your eye down from the camera. Uh, but so function two, I'm gonna hit function two, and then I'm gonna find this awesome, awesome option called AF forward slash plus sign, basically, which is called focus mode forward slash auto focus area mode. I'm gonna set that to function two. So now here's what's happening. You're out, you're shooting, you're doing your thing. Bam, 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 bam. Right, I'm shooting. So right now I have my dynamic focus on, cool. I'm pressing my back button, I'm grabbing my focus point, I'm tracking, okay, everything is awesome, right? But let's say someone walks into the frame and it's a person, and the, I know they're pretty much just gonna be looking at me or looking near me the whole time with my you know, ring finger or my middle finger or my pointer finger. I can hit that function two button and now with the aperture dial, so the front dial, I'm gonna roll it forward once, and that's the guy I'm gonna switch it to full autofocus, and I have eye autofocus enabled. So now I'm in full autofocus, and it's gonna try to now grab that person's eye. I'm shooting a picture of a wall. There's no, there's no eye there. So I, I'm not, you know, so it's trying. But so let's say I wanted to switch back. I'm just gonna press that button real quick with my middle finger, and right up at the top of my display, it shows autofocus C, and then it shows me the type of focus mode. So right now it's in full autofocus. So I just now wind it back to the left once, and now it just switched it back to dynamic. So I'm just click, 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 switch to auto, back to it, switch, right back to it, crushing it. So now I don't even have to take my eye down, I don't have to change anything, but I'm able to rapid fire change between that eye autofocus, which works incredibly in like 75% of situations, and then go real quick right back to that dynamic autofocus. If either A, I'm not getting the results I'm looking for, or if it's like, hey, I'm gonna be taking pictures of somebody's back. I need to be in dynamic autofocus, otherwise it's not gonna understand how to focus on that image. So I'm able to switch back super quick and get the absolute best out of both worlds. If I had a D5 that could jump between focus modes like that, I'd lose my mind, but it simply it just doesn't have that level of autofocus in there yet. So now that I have that little like trick in there on my function two button, I'm just using this more and more and more and loving every second of it. So that was the not so quick tip today from the garage. Um, yeah, so you want more Z6 videos, I'm gonna keep making them because you keep watching them. So another topic, hit me with what you want. Cool. Yeah.